In the NBA, it's honestly rather fair to say that when it comes to trash talk, it's a key part of the game. We don't mean that in a mean way, we just mean that there are a lot of people who trash talk, and a lot of times it can help get in the heads of players, and other times it backfires. There are many times these backfires happen, and even big players like Russell Westbrook fall victim to that backfire. Allow us to show you what we mean by that. As well as other times when defense won the day. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. Russell Westbrook Calls Warriors Defense Overrated Let's talk about the Golden State Warriors, a team who very recently went to five straight finals, won three, and honestly, should have won four. But a big reason for that wasn't just their impressive playmaking, it was their defensive presence. Between Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green, they were a defensive force. Pat Curry led the NBA in steals one year when they won it all. But when it came to the OKC Thunder and their superstar Russell Westbrook, he didn't care about how good they were. He called them overrated and would live to regret that. Outside of looking like a fool for saying it, mind you. If you look at the stats, Curry really was a great defender, like the rest of the team. Again, he led the NBA in steals. But the game spoke louder than words. When it came to Game 6 in a key playoff game against the Thunder, most remember Klay Thompson scoring 41. But it was Curry who got key defensive stops on Westbrook and Kevin Durant that led them to go into Game 7. Then in Game 7, Curry personally put an end to the series by going off both offensively and defensively. And on the offensive side, Curry nailed three-pointers no matter who was guarding him, including Westbrook. So in short, Curry and the Warriors won. The Thunder lost yet another chance to go to the finals and Westbrook had to eat crow. Westbrook still has no rings and the Warriors next year will likely be in line to try and get their fourth. Don't knock good defense, they'll bite you in the end. Number 5. Gerald Henderson Picks Off James Worthy Back in the 1980s, the NBA was defined by two teams, the Celtics and the Lakers, who won the majority of the titles during that decade. And they met three times with legends Larry Bird and Magic Johnson squaring off. One of those times was in 1984 when the Lakers seemed to have the victory in hand, especially in Game 2, when it all fell apart. The Lakers were up 113-111 to with 18 seconds left, but a floated pass from James Worthy was picked off by Gerald Henderson and he had an easy layup at the rim and tied it up. Magic Johnson then inexplicably let the clock run out without getting a shot up on the next play. The Celtics would go on to win it in OT. That's why they tell you to play every second like it's your last, because all it took was one big steal and layup, and that whole series changed. Number 4. Horace Grant Makes It a Three-Peat The Bulls were going for their first three-peat in the 90s, and they got it in part thanks to Horace Grant, who came up big when they were facing the Phoenix Suns. Game 6 was tight, and it took a big shot from John Paxson to give the Bulls the win. But it wasn't over. The Suns still had the chance to win it, and they almost did as Kevin Johnson had the ball was able to give a potential game winner in the blocks. So Horace Grant came from behind and knocked the ball away before he could get it off. Horace Grant is sometimes forgotten in terms of talking about the Bulls' victories, but it's a fact that when he left, they had to replace his big defensive presence, and that took a while because Horace Grant was really good defensively. Number 3. Hakeem Olajuwon Hakeem Olajuwon was the number one draft pick in the very draft that Michael Jordan was picked number 3. Both won titles, but Hakeem only got his while Jordan was away playing baseball. In the 1994 NBA Finals, the Rockets were down 3-2 to two to the Knicks, and the Knicks were down 2. Had the ball tied up, and Hakeem Olajuwon seemed to have lost his balance while guarding that Knicks player. He managed to tip the ball just enough for the Knicks to lose the game. Then Hakeem would go off in Game 7, securing the Rockets the win, the title, and the start to a back-to-back. -back. Number 2. The Bad Boy Pistons In the late 80s and early 90s, one team changed what it meant to be a championship team. These were the Detroit Bad Boy Pistons, and they were the kings of defensive play for years. If you came into Detroit or played against Detroit, you were to expect physical play drag them out basketball and a fierceness that wouldn't be denied. They were so good at defense that they were known to sweep opponents out of the playoffs, including Magic Johnson and his Lakers in the NBA Finals. 
They even beat down Michael Jordan so much via the Jordan rules that they had to get more muscle to contend with them. That defense won them two titles and they went to three straight NBA Finals. Their defense and toughness won the day, and that's a fact. Number 1. Michael Steals from Malone Michael Jordan is the GOAT of basketball, and you could easily watch his offensive highlight reels all day long. But what people forget is that he was a dominant defensive player, and even won Defensive Player of the Year one time because of that defense. He was that good. And he proved this in his final NBA Finals, where he played Carl Malone in the Utah Jazz for the second Finals in a row. It was a major defensive stop that led to the Bulls winning by Jordan no less. The Bulls were down one, and Michael knew exactly what play the Jazz were going to play. They were going to give it to Malone to run a play. Michael knew that Dennis Rodman was guarding Malone, and that Rodman would have his undivided attention because of how he played. So, Michael laid in wait watched as Malone got the ball and put his back to him and then rushed in and stole the ball. Michael took it down the court, waited for his shot, took it, and the Bulls would win the game, the series, and Michael his sixth ring. And there you go, a look at the defensive powerhouses of the NBA when key plays really did win the day, as well as when one player called out a defense and paid the price. Which of these times do you feel really proved that defense wins championships? Do you know of another key defensive plays that helped win the day? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time on the channel.